Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. Welcome to my show. My name's Jake. Um, it's not Thursday right now, but it will be soon. Uh, you can find me at Jake underscore 69 on Untap, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Tell me your stories. I like to hear them. I try to get them out to you guys when you, you give them to me, but I haven't heard any in a while. So, um, what's the beer? The beer today is Upper Hand Light. Uh, it's from the Upper Hand Brewery in Escanaba. Hopefully, it, it's a, it says it's a premium lager, so hopefully this will be pretty decent. Something to uh, to hang their hat on, because it's tough to do a light lager anywhere. 4.2% ABV. That doesn't say anything about bittering, so I have no idea on the IBUs. But here we go. Upper Hand Brewery Light. Put that in my come and go glass because it's a pretty good lager cup. Generally, it'll hold just about the 12 ounces that it needs to. Like right at the mark, if you notice. Huh, I wonder if this is going to be washed out like that for real. I guess we'll find out. I got a light on that I don't usually have on, so we'll see. This is light. It's light, sweet, not too hoppy. Usually in beers from out of the UP, I get a very strong metallic taste. I'm not getting that out of this one. It's mostly just sweet, which is nice. Um, I mean, it's supposed to taste like Bush Light, but this is way better than that. It's a lot closer to, say, Budweiser, but it's not as happy as Budweiser, which seems strange to me, which is also okay. Um, what does it remind me of? Uh, other premium lagers? I mean, there aren't... How many have I... I've had a few, but the, it's... Bready, sweet, but not like, not like wheat, not like bread that's just got wheat in it. It's got like other grains in it. Barley, for example, because more than likely this is brewed with mostly barley. But it's really good. I would drink more of this. Like six more would be okay. I've only got just this one though, unfortunately. Um, does this remind me of a beer? Like a for real one that I can think of right off the top of my head. I'd like to say, like, Budweiser or Bush or something that's generally a light lager, but it doesn't taste like one of those. And I've had one recently that tastes like this, and I can't think of what it was. Nope, it's still not there. Does it remind me of a story? Um, okay, so at Deer Camp, we drink a lot of beer, but generally only at night after everybody's come in for the day or the night before, before anybody's been out to actually go hunting because usually even the people that do the, the bow hunting don't hunt on the 14th of of November because it's kind of bad form and there are people that are going to be there and and all that fun stuff but that usually they don't go out and hunt that day just because it's easier to not you don't have to worry about people tromping through to see what's going on um, they get all that out of their system beforehand and it's makes for better hunting most of the rest of the time But one tradition that we have, because our hunt club president loves the movie so much, is watching Escanaba and the Moonlight uh, with Jeff Daniels and, and all those guys. Uh, really, I, I think pretty much the only like seriously famous person in that is Jeff Daniels. 
he, uh, it's a great movie. Uh, if you've never seen it, you should. If you get a chance to see the play, because it is a play, it was a play before, um, before it was a movie, you should definitely see the play. Our, our local high school put that on and it was very good. And they used one of my father's hunting stories. And it was great. Um, I think they used the one where my grandpa, where they were doing a deer drive where you get the deer to go on one direction so that people can actually see deer while you're out hunting. So doing the deer drive and my grandpa shot twice. And my grandpa was known for being a very good shot. He was a very good shot. And this year's going to be weird because I'm going to get to shoot with his gun because he is no longer with us. But anyway, grandpa was a very good shot. And he shot twice. And my dad walked out to him and was like, he's standing over a deer. It was a very nice deer. Dad was like, hey, I heard two shots from you. Where's the other deer? And he was like, it's over there. Not moving. This one was moving still, so I had to finish it off. And went over and grandpa shot two deer with his two shots. That were obviously both legal deer. Because he would not do anything like that illegally. My grandpa was very good about that kind of thing. And that's why we don't drink when we're in the woods. Like during, during the day, you might have a beer with breakfast that happens at like 11 but generally no generally you just you have orange juice or apple juice or water because the water at the cabin's really good worth it for sure not quite as good as they replaced since they replaced the faucet but it's still very good i like the water there but yeah, so anyway, this kind of reminds me of Escanaba in the Moonlight and John and drinking around a campfire inside or outside because we have a fireplace inside and we have a fire pit outside. And this last year we did some drinking around the fire pit and it was very nice, but I did not bring the right shoes to be outside in then and my feet were very cold. But the beers that I had were... Actually, this kind of reminds me of the Zalapata. It's a, uh, um, hmm. it's a jalapeno beer, but it doesn't really have much of the jalapeno spice to it. It's got more of a, a more of a lager flavor to it. Actually, it tastes a lot like this. But with green pepper in it. <laughs> A spicy green pepper, but a green pepper nonetheless. I just had a an interesting burp that brought me back to a uh, an apartment party in Mount Pleasant um, where I was drinking bush light. So, I mean, maybe this does taste like bush light, and I just don't remember what it tastes like because I haven't had it in so long. I take that back. It was not bush light that we were drinking that day. It was definitely bush heavy because it was in the camouflage or hunter orange pack, 30 pack. Cause I mean, obviously it was about Halloween time if I remember correctly, but yeah, burped and transported right back there immediately. It was weird. That was delicious. I could drink a bunch more of those. All right, I've got a quote for you. This one is from Lena Horn. She was an actor, actress and feminist, I think is how they put that one in the thing that I, uh, that I read about her when I wrote this down. She said, the best thing about living is the chance to keep on doing it. Yeah probably really is. The best part about living is probably the chance that you, the chance to keep on doing it. Because it should be close every once in a while that you don't get to keep living. And it makes it, it makes life far more interesting if you're living it right on the edge. But the stories come from when you're deathly afraid. Absolutely. Do stuff that you're scared of. It's great. 
All right, you can find me at two with Jake underscore 69 on untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Tell me your stories. I like to hear them. I like to share them. Please do. Um, Sarah, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I'll see you next time. You got time for a beer.